I'm going to show you how you can connect Dialogflow to ManyChat. You're going to use Dialogflow to understand the user when they send messages, and then you can use ManyChat for your responses. The first thing we're going to need to do is go to Janus.ai in your web browser, and we'll want to click this Get Started Free button. The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to sign in with your Google account and give Janus access to Google. Now Janice is an AI assistant, making it really easy. Janice will walk you through the process, help you connect Dialogflow, help you connect ManyChat, and then help you manage your integration. First thing you'll want to do is you want to click Continue. You can work with Janice on the web, which is what we're going to do now because it's only a few simple steps to get connected. But you can also use Janice for Slack, which opens up more tools that you can use uh, and you can also collaborate with others, including a team or maybe your work uh, with an agency and you want to collaborate with clients. So Janice asks, uh, I can work with you in this web-based workspace or work with you in Slack. Have you added me to Slack workspace before? Uh, we're just going to say no. And we can do that later. If we want to connect to Slack workspace, we just click in the top left corner and you'll see that you can just link a Slack workspace. So for now, we're just going to click no. Now the first step in the process is to connect a dialogue flow agent to Janus. So let's just confirm no. Okay, now Janus says add a bot and we'll connect AI to it. So to add a bot, we click add a bot. You're gonna to need to accept the terms of service from Google if you've never used Dialogflow before. So all you need to do is click this button. We're gonna accept the terms, and then we can just come back here and create a new Dialogflow agent. So let's accept the terms. We're accessing the Google Cloud Platform, and all we need to do is just click I agree, and then this button, agree and continue. Now you're connected and you'll want to make sure that you're using the account that you signed into Janus with. So if you have trouble, uh, it's there's probably a reason. And that reason is because you might be connected to Google Cloud Platform for other Google services using a different Google account. So make sure it's the same account. Now we can just go back to Janus and we can click Create New Agent. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to give Dialogflow a name for the dialogue flow agent and Janice is going to set up the name and the dialogue flow agent for you. Now the dialogue flow agent has been called my test agent here, uh, but you might want Janice to refer to your bot as a different name. Um, so if you do, uh, you can just click no and you can give uh, a different name. So I'll click no and I'll give the name uh, my auction bot. Maybe I'm building an auction chat bot with ManyChat and I'm going to use Dialogflow. Now we can just connect ManyChat. You can add Janus to the same Facebook page as your ManyChat bot. And some of the benefits are that Janus will monitor your Dialogflow connection for you and alert you of problems. When your bot doesn't have a response and Dialogflow doesn't have a trained response, Janus will send you alerts. Uh, and bring you into the loop. So if you need to take over live, Janus can pause dialogue flow for you and you can use Janus for live chat. You can do that through the web, you can do that through Slack, or you can do that directly in the Facebook inbox. Now, a another benefit is that Janus will transcribe those conversations and, and you can use those chat transcripts to then train dialogue flow so your chat bot is smarter. So if I wanna connect Janice to the same Facebook page as the many chat bot, just click connect and then you'll click the Facebook page. I'm going to use this auction bot page and then I'll just click save. Okay, so now Janice is connected to that page and Janice is ready to help you manage your dialogue flow agent. So let's click continue. Now you have two options. You can choose custom integration if you've been using dialogue flow before or you can choose the starter kit. And the starter kit makes it really easy if you're new to Dialogflow. We've created 
a pre-trained dialogue flow agent that will immediately help your bot understand the most common messages that users send. Uh, anything that means yes or no or thanks or okay, you would otherwise have to spend a fair amount of time to train Dialogflow to understand those messages, and Janice has done the work for you. You'll just need to edit the responses. So we can click Starter Kit, and Janice will then install this template to Dialogflow for you. So let's click Install AI, and Janice will give you a warning message just to let you know that Janice is going to install these Dialogflow intents to your account. So let's just click install again. Okay, now the dialogue flow has been agent has been set up for you and you have pre-trained AI. So your dialogue flow agent will understand the most common messages that users will send your chat bot. Now we need to connect many chat. So what we'll do is you'll get a key from Janice and you'll want to highlight that and then copy that key to your clipboard. We're now going to complete the setup and add Janice to ManyChat. And then when we're done, we can come back here and click continue. And then Janice will help you manage that dialogue flow integration. So I'm going to click complete setup. And I'm going to be presented with a page with the Janice app and some example flows. And uh, let's click install and pick the page. I'll install it to this page. Now, before I click install now, just want to point out that Janice provides you with a default reply. And that default reply is really important because your users are going to send your bot messages and those messages will get relayed to Dialogflow through your default reply. So we've configured a default reply that is AI enhanced. So we'll want to leave that checked and then we're just going to click install now. Now the template is being installed and the app is being installed. Now, you, if you scroll down, uh, you'll see here that one of the this tools, it says one app, and you'll wanna add that key that you copied to your clipboard to the app so that your bot can communicate with Janice. And so you can do that in the future by clicking the settings link in the navigation and going to apps, but we can conveniently do that right here in the setup and we can click this link, go to apps, and you can see Janice in your list, and you'll just wanna paste in that key into the Janice client key field and click save. Now we've connected a Dialogflow agent and we've connected ManyChat and everything should work. You can send your bot a message like test and you should get a response back from Dialogflow because we've pre-trained the AI to understand when a user says test or I'm just testing it out or any similar phrase. Now we can click automation and you'll see that there's a folder called Janice for ManyChat. And there is the Janice default reply, which you installed. And if we click on that, you'll just see very quickly that it's simple. All we have is one action. And if we zoom into the action, it's process with dialogue flow. That's all you need. Anytime you want to relay a message to dialogue flow and process that with AI, you'll want to add this action and it's built right into the flow builder, which makes it really convenient. Uh, there are some additional flows as well. And we're not going to get into the details of that, but it gives you examples on how to build with dialogue flow and many chat. What we have done is we've created this user guide and I will show you that if you go to Janice.ai slash many chat, then you can access that user guide and it will show you how it works. It will show you um, everything we just did in terms of actions and templates. But the section you'll want to explore the most is this create with AI. So it will show you how to set up dialogue flow intents and how to add training phrases, uh, which are much uh, more sophisticated than keywords because they give you a lot more flexibility in understanding the intent of the user. And then you'll also want to navigate to sections like responses. You can respond with text responses and directly in dialogue flow, but you'll likely want to respond with your many chat flows. So we've created this guide that walks you through how to do that. So you can use dialogue flow to understand the user, and then you can respond with your many chat flows. 
There's also a section on managing AI, so you can learn about how to get alerts, how to pause dialogue flow, and really how to benefit from this powerful technology from Google. Let's take a real quick look at the dialogue flow template that we installed. We can just type dialogueflow.com and you'll be taken to documentation inside of Google Cloud. Dialogflow has two products, Dialogflow CX and ES. ES standing for Essentials. Dialogflow ES is the product that we're using with ManyChat. It's a perfect combination. So you can click that link, Dialogflow ES, and then you can click this Go to Dialogflow ES console, and you'll need to sign in again with your Google account just for authentication. Sometimes it works automatically like it's done for me. And if you're new to Dialogflow, you'll just need to accept the terms of service here as well. So you can check that box and click accept. Now, if you remember in the setup, Janice uh, configured this Dialogflow agent for you. You gave it a name and we, I gave it the name My Test Agent. So you can see there's the name of your agent. And then we also installed that starter kit so your bot would understand the most common messages. So you can see here, these are all the things that your bot is ready to understand immediately. And if I click into one of these dialog flow intents, then you can see there are phrases that users will send and you'll be able to immediately understand the user and you can just simply edit the responses. Of course, don't hesitate to go back to our user guide for ManyChat so that you can learn how to create responses using your many chat flows. And that's in the section, create AI responses. Good luck getting started with dialogue flow for many chat and wishing you all the success in your support and marketing automation.